August 25th, 2017 in the city of Chester marked the opening of the Chester Charter School for the Arts with their official ribbon cutting ceremony. Under the big tent, there were a couple hundred invited guests, members of the press, some students, staff, faculty, and city officials sitting in the front row. You can't have a school for the arts without having a choir, so they opened things up before the perfunctory activities began with small speeches from the people responsible for raising the money, the people who watch the money, the people who run the school, and one of the top students. Without much fanfare, the movement headed right to the front door of the school where the ribbon cutting was to take place. After a few snips of the ribbon, here and there, some big smiles, some hand claps, it was, let's go see the school. It doesn't take long before you step over the threshold of the front door and realize you're in a school for the arts. This is a unique concept, and the school has a unique design to go with it. But many of us first went to the cafeteria to get a little bite to eat. It was the fair and square crew who was supplying the food and serving us a, a light fair, and it was kind of neat. It was a great place for photos, as you can see. And after a little cheese and fruit and ice cream and refreshments, you could either take the elevator to go to the second and third floor or climb the steps. After operating in a converted warehouse for the past few years with no windows, the big design element in this school was big windows. The sight lines through most of the rooms are absolutely stunning. Yeah, there's some blight on the ground, but who's going to be looking down when you have all this sky to look at? I imagine there's going to be a lot of daydreaming kids, and that's not a bad thing. What I found most amusing was that the few kids in attendance, as soon as they stepped into a dance studio, they went right into that mode. This school encourages creativity. Everything is so new, from the lockers to the boys and girls talking at the lockers. We found some teachers who were preparing their classrooms. And some of the people just in awe at what they were seeing in the class. Even looking down from the top floors, look at that beautiful lighting coming down from the walls. And a water fountain that you let your kid drink from. Look at these views out of the building. I caught these two students hanging out in the faculty lounge. They're going to get in trouble. All right, maybe not. Some of the classrooms were ready for students to attend right away. Others were still getting it together. But in all, it was a beautiful sight. For some reason, I don't believe the climate manager has anything to do with the weather. The reaction from most of the people was like, wow, oh my god. I mean, remember, it's for the arts. Check out this room. And then, of course, there's a full gym. My goodness. And everywhere you look, there was another room for performing. Many of the rooms are named after some of the major funders who came out for the ribbon cutting. It was neat to see them. This lady said she used to dance. Much of the money for this project is not from Chester, and they don't want to be identified, so let's leave them alone. But here's Steve Fisher, who sold them the land from the Chester Housing Authority. Here's the head of school who's keeping the curriculum together, Ms. Okosa Watts. And that man right there in the light-colored blazer, Mr. John Austin, he's the brainchild behind it all. And rightly so. The Music Center is named after him. And John, I know that's your keyboard right there. I know it. You can't tell me otherwise. Chester Charter School for the Arts. What a magnificent addition to the city of Chester.